Tamara Tattoo here and I'm just gonna let you know that I really, really just hate doing dishes, or just hate. I just hate, just hate, I really hate doing dishes. I really hate to do dishes and part of that is because, well one, I'm lazy or I like to be efficient, one or the other, you choose. I like to call it lazy because to me it's just fun to be lazy sometimes. And the other part is, I actually have to wash the dishes in my sink first, then put them in the dishwasher, because the dishwasher I hire to do them doesn't actually clean them. And so why do I even do that? I have no idea. But I'm trying to figure out there's something about this process I can change. I can either change being lazy, or I can change how I do the dishes. and I got a different dishwasher so because the dishwasher detergent I used really sucked really sucked bad so I thought maybe that was it so I tried another dishwashing <laughs> detergent and that sucked too but in a different way so I knew it wasn't my dishwasher because after several different dishwashing detergents the things that were wrong were right in others but wrong in others like they were just sucking all different <laughs> I decided that that's probably because of all the chemicals in our dishwashing detergent and I want a cleaner, freer life and I want to be more self-sufficient and save money on my dishwashing detergent. I found this recipe on Wellness Mama. I love Wellness, Wellness Mama. You gotta go check that out. She's gonna help me be lazy. Yay! Thank you Wellness Mama. I love you. <laughs> so what you need for this recipe for your dishwashing detergent is two cups of borax two cups of washing soda, <laughs> one cup of citric acid, and one cup of salt. Now for the rinsing agent, you are just going to use distilled white vinegar. And that's it. It's going to clean your dishes and make them sparkle. And so you don't have to buy the blue stuff that, like, I don't know, one time the blue stuff exploded kind of in my dishwasher and I can't get this stuff off until I use this and then it comes out. <laughs> and then you're going to want a jar that is syllable. So what I did is I found a pickle jar that, that was this big. We ate pickles for a week <laughs> and I made a ton of potato salad with pickles in it and every meal had pickles in it so I could have a jar. <laughs> My kids are so done with pickles. <laughs> Not have a jar for this. So we're going to get started and I'm just going to go ahead and pour my two cups in here. Two cups of washing soda. This is enough and it's going to last me forever because you only need like one tablespoon of this. So your citric acid and your salt. Put my lid on and guess what we can do? Shake, 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 shake. No, 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 no. There's my dishwashing detergent. I'm going to use one tablespoon of that. I'm going to use this as my rinse agent. Voila! You have dishwashing detergent. And now, if only I could figure out a way to make my dishes not lazy and they can put themselves away, that would be a good thing. And if you can figure that out, I want you to give me comments below on how to do that. Hit subscribe so you can see my other videos on how to make your home more self-sufficient and chemical-free. Have a great day. See you soon.